Welcome back, this is Cereal Snacks, and today I'm doing a dumping puzzle in the borderlands of my server, Storm Bluff Isle. And it is located over here on the far left, and this water feature is basically you just go from your citadel right into that area. And every borderlands is pretty much the same, so it's the same puzzle in every borderlands, and it's either going to be called the Emerald Sanctum, the Sapphire Sanctum, or the Garnet Sanctum. My particular one is called the Sapphire Sanctum. Now you have to go to each Borderlands if you want to get the separate achievement. However, the puzzle itself has keys, two keys. You can actually get the two keys in your Borderlands and then travel to theirs and just go right into the vault. There's a, there's a vault with a chest and you have to have the keys to open the chest. And you also have to open the chest to get the achievement. So your friends can't just let you into the vault if they have the keys. You have to actually do it yourself. So they've kind of blocked people out in that respect. Really what I'm doing is there's a water feature down below. And you just want to go up on the right here. And you can see on the mini map kind of where I am in relation to that pond that you see on the map. And you can see this waterfall in the distance here. And what you do is there's a little outcropping up here that you want to jump up to. And you just take a leap of faith into the waterfall. You want to kind of get to the left of the pointy part. That's kind of how I describe it, where the black, kind of the black rock is showing underneath the snow. So just jump to the left side of this and just try to get as far to the edge as you can when you jump and just let it go. And you will land and take a lot of damage. And then you're in. So here we are in the beginning of the jumping puzzle heal up real quick I'm gonna try to start doing these puzzles without my UI on so I might turn that off here in a second just cause I like to I feel like it's a lot cleaner let's see how that looks there we go okay now we're gonna jump across here and I don't know why it got darker all of a sudden on my screen um anyway we're gonna go up these jumping puzzle here and there's two directions to go and the first one is to go around the corner here and then jump over to this little platform that's kinda sticking out and then up, and there's a lot of it's a lot of com confusing pathways that go different directions. These people are actually going the correct way. She's doing her rocket jump, but the goal is really to get across to these little tiny branches that you can see sticking out here. And it's kind of a tough jump. You got to land on this little tiny thing. And whoop, I almost slipped off right there. And what this is is underneath here. Actually, this r platform that I'm underneath is actually the second chest. We're gonna get the first chest here. And you can do it in either direction, but I like to do it this the, the first this first chest first <laughs> because it's easier then to get from the second chest to the actual vault entrance. So you can see they've got these little pillar jumps that are difficult if you're if you overthink it. You kind of just have to jump and hope for the best in many ways. So this engineer behind me is actually using her rocket jump, which allows her to target where she's going to land. I don't really do that. I probably should, although it is kind of cheating, I guess, but. Not that anybody's checking. Now when you get on this ledge over here, the goal is to then just slide down the edge of this thing and land. There's a tiny outcropping down below here, so if you just kind of walk off the edge, whoop, you'll land on the little outcropping. And then this jump is actually is farther than you would think, so you need to really make sure you're on the far edge before you jump across, because I've missed it <laughs> multiple times trying to figure this puzzle out. So okay, go up here. And then this is just the switchbacks, and there, there, there are some checkpoints in this jumping puzzle that are kind of nice, as you can tell. For example, this one, if you fall, you're really not in any bad shape, because you'll just fall down on the ledge, you won't fall in the water. Once you fall in the water, you have to start all over again, which is really a pain. So you want to avoid any area, but you got to be really careful in any area where down below is water, because that means you're, if you fall, you're pretty much starting over. Now you won't die, of course, but... Um, it's almost better to die in a way because then you go back to the waypoint. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the first chest. We'll get that. Now I'm going to cut the video here because I'm not going to show you the, the whole thing. But basically, what you want to do. And I'm actually, you know what? Now that I'm up here, I'm going to see if there's any other way. I don't think there is another way to get to the other key, the other chest from here. There's a person over there. Maybe we can get over there. Let me try that really quick, but I'm not going to put too much effort into it because I don't think there's a way to get from this particular chest to the other chest without starting over in the entire puzzle so maybe I'll have to figure that out later but I'm pretty sure there's not so let's see we'll just go down here we'll just take a, uh, a fall and see if we can get over there I'm not sure that that leads anywhere anyway though okay uh, and there's nothing now there's nothing to jump there so we'll go in the water and really I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna cut this video but we're I'm just gonna swim back outside and go across the waterfall again Okay, so now I'm back, and I'm back in the puzzle after doing the waterfall leap of faith. And this time, when we cross across this 
thing, instead of going to the right, you go left over towards this tree branch, this direction. So this is the second chest area. Now, people get confused and will actually go up this direction where I'm going. And you can see there's rocks that are suspended above the sky right here. And that's where you will be eventually. And that's, I think, what's confusing. Just taking a quick run in the room here. You can see the whole puzzle is really in this main room. Okay, so let's go back this direction. And again, like most jumping puzzles, you a lot of times the torches denote where you need to go. So you can see there's no torches up this direction, so that's a pretty good sign that you shouldn't be up here. So always, if in doubt, look for the torches. I, I feel like that's always pretty helpful. So here's a torch over here to denote that you're going the right direction. And this particular area, you want to jump up into this tree branch here. This thing here. And I'm really actually starting to like my char and jumping puzzles. I just like the way they kind of lope around. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, and here's here's the vault door to my left. That you need to have both keys to open. So like I said before, you the achievements are separate for each area. So you can actually get the keys and then just not go in the, the vault here. You can actually take those keys and go to a different vault if you've already achieved this one. That makes it a lot easier if, if their particular borderlands is always swarming with their... PvP players because then you can just run in there and go straight to the vault and then close the vault behind you so they can't get there. Now that particular part you have to actually have to fall down that hole and see now I'm on the platforms I was talking about earlier that are suspended in the air above that area that I wasn't supposed to go to so you can see and then these are relatively easy jumping platforms that you just need to traverse basically to get across here oh, and don't do that that was a mistake so here I am back down on this now you can see like that was a nice checkpoint spot because I didn't fall all the way into the water which makes it a lot easier pain so for pain. you know you're gonna fall on these jumping puzzles the, your first time through it's just the way it works and I actually haven't completed the sapphire sanctum yet so you're gonna see when I open the chest I will get that achievement for that so there's the door again big old mist drop vault now there's oozes on the right there you can actually hug the wall and not fight them I I don't like to fight them because I feel like it's just well first of all it's a waste of time and second of all you, you can potentially die if you're not careful and that's not always good especially if there's enemy players in here they'll see you attacking a ooze and then they'll take advantage of that fact so I just say avoid the oozes you know that's kind of my rule of thumb I need a t-shirt that says avoid the ooze you know because you just wear it around town well why not right Okay, so let's jump across this thing here again, and this time, you see I didn't fall. I, like I said, it was de it's deceptive, that particular jump. And then these are just the normal, like I said, platforms that are relatively easy. And you want to scale up here, okay, and you don't want to go that direction, you want to go this direction. See, see how it kind of wraps around up there, those platforms. So, although you actually can't take them around, you'll see here in a second. Oh, yeah, and that jump is also deceptive. <laughs> so, of course, now that I'm videoing it, I'm falling all the time. Here we go. All right, let's go back up here again. And again, luckily, I'm in an area where falling is not such a big deal. So, I kind of like this puzzle in that respect. Okay, up here. We're going to get it this time. All right. Yeah, see, I made it look easy that time. It's, it's deceptive from where you launch yourself off of. Okay, now this time you actually go down because you can't make the jump up to that next platform. And then you kind of just work your way around the edge here. And now you have this vine that you want to cross. And you got to be really careful here because if you dodge forward by accident, you'll actually go right off the end of it. So don't do that. Just shimmy your way along there. Take your time. And then there is the next Mistrot key half chest. So you can see I got that top half. So now I have both halves of the key. Now here's the cool thing. A lot of people will go and restart the puzzle. You don't actually have to. You can actually get down there to the left and just just waltz right into the vault. So that's what I did. I just jumped down from this vine and then jumped down here. And you're back in that area I talked about you don't want to be in. You end up being there twice, <laughs> basically, if you're, if you're backtracking like I am. And this is really easy now. So now you just go right back to the vault so that's why I like doing the chests in that order it makes it a lot easier to get to the vault at the end and saves you a fair amount of time you could be spending double the amount of time if you do it the other direction so so here I am at the Mistrop vault that's pretty much like an eight or nine minute run and I've got my this enormous Mistrop chest and the chest actually has 
the same, pretty much the same kind of stuff that the Obsidian Sanctum has. Badges, blueprints, and weapons. So let's just open it up and take a look. I've attained the awesome. So there you go. I got three blue items. I got my Sapphire Sanctum completed achievement. I got all these badges of armor, an arrow cart blueprint, a ballista blueprint. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my mist rot jumping puzzle in the world versus world borderlands area of my particular area. And of course it's identical in each area. So if you liked, please click like. That helps get the video up in the search results. And please subscribe. Thanks for joining me.